Hey guys, so today I'm gonna teach you how to make some fucking rice flour. So first thing you do is you take a shit ton of rice and put it in your stand mixer. So we're not making rice flour? No, it's just a good place to store the rice. Uh -huh. so much rice. Yeah. And I'm short. Yeah. And now there's rice in the mixer. Oh no. How you doing everybody and welcome to the da -da -da Skill Monkey! Today I'm going to learn how to make bread because my wife is a professional baker and I can't bake for shit. I've never baked anything in my life. Anything. Bread. Bread. What do you know about bread? Bread. <laughs> bread. Class dismissed. So what is bread, she asks. Well, bread is... Bread. I don't know what bread is. Bread's like flour that gets horny and then it gets big. Pretty much. So, yeast? What is yeast? Yeast is. Uh. Yeast is. Original. <laughs> yeast is, um. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Yeast is, um... Is it a vegetable? Mineral? It's, it's like an... It's like a fungus? Yes. It's a fungus, right? Yes. Okay. I got this. I'm great at this. So first, you're gonna need warm, but not hot, water. Anything warmer than like 110 degrees Fahrenheit will kill your yeast dead, and nothing will happen, and it will be sad. We don't want that. How much so, is it? Two cups. Two cups! And what we need to do is get our yeast all living and happy and bubbly and we're gonna hope that this yeast is not dead from being in the cabinet for god knows how long because um, yeast is a living organism because yeast is a living organism and also fucking impossible to find right now so what we're gonna be doing first is a basic rustic loaf i don't even have a recipe written down anywhere because I've made this so many times. We're gonna need about five to six cups of flour, two cups of warm but not hot water, uh, about a teaspoon or so of salt, two packets of yeast, and sugar to taste. You don't have to add sugar to it. I personally like to add just a little bit of sugar to it just to give it some more flavor. Again, not necessary. And once we get this yeast in here, and all mixed up, you will see it start to foam and bubble. You want your yeast to be nice and bubbly, and it's already starting to go, so that's telling me that this yeast is, in fact, still good. So, uh, we should probably explain why we called it Skill Monkey. Um, so, I'm a bit of a skill monkey. I just kind of pick up things and learn new skills pretty quickly, and I thought it would be fun if we did a whole video series where like, we taught each other how to do things. So, this episode, I'm learning how to make bread, Next episode, I'm going to teach you how to write a dungeon, I yes. think. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because I'm also the dungeon master for our not just home game for D&D, &D, but also uh, the show Dicey Decisions. And so I do a lot of writing of dungeons, and so I'm going to teach Carly how to do that, because she's going to DM at some point. Yeah. So, uh, that's why we called it Skill Monkey, because any of you who play RPGs know that rogues and bards are Skill Monkeys, and the best classes. So anyway, um, what am I doing? So we're gonna pop over here and look at our yeast, how yeast. bubbly and happy he it's is. It's so bubbly! So it is definitely alive. So for this particular bread, I am going to be using a stand mixer because I was gifted one for my birthday and it sure as hell beats kneading. Uh, which if you are doing it by hand, if you happen to be following along with this video and not just watching it for the pure comedy gold, uh, <laughs> Christ. Um, you will just want to add about five extra minutes to your need time, depending on it. You will want to do the window pane test, which I'll talk about later, and you're just looking for the development of the gluten and to make sure that everything is nice and elastic. I should probably mention that I'm not supposed to eat gluten. <laughs> she has a gluten sensitivity. Not an allergy, mm -hmm. sensitivity. So, what you're going to do is... Yeah. Right here in this buddy boy here, I'm going to move my spicy water because we are not sponsored. Um, 
Bubbly, if you want to sponsor us, you should definitely get on that. I drink a lot of spicy water. So I want you to go ahead and measure out. We're going to start with four cups of flour in here. Four cups of flour. Do they have to be like exact or? Yeah, pretty level. One. Oh my God, babe. Two. Three. Hey, who's the professional here? Me! Three. Exactly, so shut up. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Four. Yes. I did it. You did it. Uh, we also will need... <laughs> Jesus. <Yeah. laughs> we also need a teaspoon of salt in Teaspoon there. of salt. Is this a teaspoon? Yeah. Teaspoon! It's in the spice drawer. Cabinet. That's not a drawer. <laughs> salt. Now what? Uh, go ahead and lift the mixer up. No. Oh, the lift the... <laughs> I thought you meant pick it up. Okay, no. where am I going with it? Shut up! Come on! <laughs> all right. And then uh, we're just going to mix it up and make sure that the salt is all incorporated and we don't have any clumps because... Can I do stir? Yeah, just... Well, it'd be nice if it was plugged in. It is plugged in. Well, it's not on. Give it a second. Sometimes it needs to think about it. Apparently, I have I have a friend who has the same line, uh, this particular KitchenAid, and sometimes it needs to think about if it wants to turn on or not. It's just kind of a issue with it. And we're just gonna mix it up. So, salt. You like salt. I do like salt. <laughs> yes, can I help? Your face is so good. <laughs> okay. So salt uh, will kill yeast. So just how sugar will feed it, if you put salt directly in the yeast or if the salt is not mixed in properly and comes into contact with the yeast, it will kill it. Oh. Yeah. This is life or death shit. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. We are giving- Give me that Dutch angle. <laughs> we are giving these happy, happy uh, little yeast sugar and flour and warm water and we're making them so happy and then we are going to roast their corpses. Alright, so as you can see our yeast is nice and happy. He's got a big foamy layer over the top. So we are going to go ahead and turn our mixer on. Slow speed and we're just going to slowly stream it in. Once we get the sponge going. Sponge? Yep. Um, so once we have it going and starting to incorporate, when the mixer starts to complain, we will switch out for a dough bowl. Yes. Yeah. Now you see why I call it sponge? And that's how you solve racism. We're gonna go ahead and switch out for the dough hook since the, the dough is starting to stick to itself. Okay. He and you call it a sponge? Uh, so the sponge is 
kind of your base, uh, which you add more flour to. This isn't technically a sponge. That would be when you, um, you add, like, a cup or so of flour into your yeast mixture and let it bubble. Okay. So, not exactly the right term here, but close enough. All right. I think what I'll have on the screen is, like, a running tally of all the stuff we've added to it and, like, the steps. Mm -hmm. And I'll just, like, flash them up, like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> There, there's the, <laughs> there's the instructions. You can pause it if you want. Insert. Oh, yeah. As you can see, he's starting to get a little sticky. Spongy. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, I do that all the time because the mixtures at work go up this way, and uh -huh. this one goes up this way. And I've done that so many times now. All right, so turn it back on just for a second to get him off the edge of the bowl. So it is already starting to get pretty sticky. It is still too wet, so we are going to add up to a total of six cups of flour. So if you want to add uh, another cup of flour. More flour! One cup. You know what we could probably do? What can we do? Pull the mixer a little bit away from the cabinet. That way I'm not having to have this weird angle. Ah! So now we're going to keep the camera on me and not see the absolute uncluttered or cluttered mess that this is. So I'm going to oil down this bowl nice and good. That way as it is rising, it's not going to stick. Oh. As you can see, he's not very sticky. He's nice and smooth and elastic. So you are going to yeah. take it, and oh, what I was yeah. doing, oh. Michael, yes. learning, you're going to work it, yep, you're gonna work your seams inward, so you're not kneading it. You're just gonna flip him inward like this. Okay. Until you have a nice seam here on the bottom. Twist and pinch. Twist and pinch? He's and now that he's a nice round ball, and your seam is on the bottom, so this will all be nice and round and uniform on top. Uh-huh. Put him in here. Put him flat side down first. Flat side down first. Yep. Turn it. Flip it back over. And that's it. So what we're going to do... Yeah. We're going to take our dishcloth. I have a little cheesecloth here. Or... No, not cheesecloth. A little thicker than cheesecloth. Covering it. That way he doesn't dry out. And then I have the oven. I preheated it for literally 30 seconds just to make it warm. So I'm going to put it in the oven to do our proof. You don't have to do that. That's just something that I prefer to do. Um, it just makes sure it's in a warm place, not a place that is going to be cold or uh, wet. So we're just going to add a youngest Boonkus right in here. And we're going to give that its first proof for about an hour or so. Wait, an hour? Yes. In which time, so that you're not bored, darling, we will get started on our cheddar beer loaf, which is going to be our other opportunity for bread, because that's all the yeast that we could find, my boys. Is that going to be the same process, or...? A little bit similar, so that one is going to be more of a you mix it up in a bowl and throw it in a loaf and it's done. You don't have any wait time, you don't have any rise time, it's just, it is a quick bread. Okay. Okay. So, quick bread! Smash cut. Do some so I can smash cut. All right. <laughs> so next we are going to do a cheddar beer bread, uh, which is super easy. This is a quick bread. You don't need to have any um, yeast because beer. What is beer? Beer is hops and yeast. It's yeast. It is yeast and wheat and. Barley and, well, occasionally they can be not these things, but yeast! There's yeast! There's
there's yeast. It's got yeast in it. This is gonna do all the work for you. You're going to mix together your dry ingredients. Dry ingredients. So you need three cups of flour. Three cups of flour. What in the other cup thing? Three. Three. Three, all right. Next, you are going to add in your three tablespoons of sugar. Yes. One. Two. Two and a half. Seven. All right. We will also need a tablespoon of baking powder. Lots of baking powder. Tablespoon of baking powder. Yep, like I said, this is doing the majority of the work. I see. Uh, same kind of, or not the same, but similar theory applies here with a soda bread, uh, where your baking soda does the majority of the work. It has a different flavor to it. Baking soda does have a taste. You can't really taste it here because there is so much beer and also cheese. Uh, we need a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. So all the dry ingredients get mixed together. Yep. Oh, that's fine. It'll be a little salty. It won't be that salty. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And once they are fully incorporated, Once you don't see any bits of salt or any bits of baking powder or sugar, once it is all mixed up and is one uniform texture, that's... Mm, looks fine. Sure, fuck it. Okay. That looks fine. Uh, now you're going to measure up a cup of your cheddar cheese. Michael. 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 Ah. Michael. <laughs> Do I need to get it? Mm. No! Say nothing. I will say nothing. Say nothing. Use your hand. Come on, you. Get in there. Cheese. Cheese! Mix that cheese in. Michael. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Ready? Smash cut. Eh. Wow! That was so quick! I'm amazing! Wow! Alright, next we're gonna go ahead, before we start mixing everything in, because we don't want it to get all bubbly yeah. uh, before we're ready, mm. you are going to go ahead and grab our loaf pan. Your butter melted. That's okay. It's it's fine. <laughs> Where's the loaf pans? Okay. Uh, wait, I think I need a. I need a nine by five, so it'll be the bigger one. What bigger one? There's a bigger one in there. No bigger one. Yes, there is. There's a square one. No. Try this. No. Right. So where was the bread pan, babe? The problem with this is we had someone living in our house for this for a week, and things got moving on. Oh, that's what you're gonna blame it on. Yep. Sorry, Troy. Yeah, that was definitely my fault. Pop half of that butter in there. That, listen to that. You can go ahead and take that lump and put it in the thing. You don't need that much butter. I will do what I please. So the fun thing about this is uh, this skill monkey here is in a week or so, we will have a skill check. And he will have to do this without me. Well, I mean, you can supervise, but I'm going to do it by memory. <laughs> I will not tell you You will not tell anything. me. 
All right, so go ahead and make a well in the center. Then you're gonna go ahead and pour your beer right in that well. Beer! Oh. Get, get a good... We're not sponsored by Smart Mouth. We're not sponsored by Smart Mouth. I just love them and this is what I happen to have. You can go a little faster than that, it's fine. Delicious. You should start mixing that in before it bubbles over. It's not gonna bubble over, see? Just, yeah. So you wanna make sure it's just mixed. You don't wanna over mix it. Make sure there's no lumpies. Make sure everything is saturated. In beer. In God, beer. this smells amazing. Doesn't it? Yeah. Beer bread is so easy. It's so good. There's going to be a lot of liquid in this. Is my arm in the way of the shot? Nope, you're good. Okay. Do I need to take over? No, I just... No! I need to learn! There's, I, I, I promise that there's enough liquid in there. That was 12 ounces of beer. Much better. Perfect. And get that last little bit of flour there incorporated in. And you'll be ready to go. So now what? So now you're going to put it in your pan. I did it. Good job. Go ahead and level them out. I will name you Jeff. All right, that's good. This one here, uh, he does not need to rise. Okay. So we are going to put him in the oven at 350 for, I can't remember the time, but my spidey senses will tell me and we will edit it and put it in the video. And it'll be right here. Right there. Okay. It's time to bake! <laughs> So we had to uh, stop that time lapse. I know that was fun to watch, but um, oh, let it focus. Look at Carly. There we go. Um, so we crushed up some nuts, some nuts. Uh, that's pistachios and uh, pine, nuts. pine nuts. And this bread should be about done. Look how heckin' chalky it is! All right. So first proof is done. Now we are going to go ahead and knock it back. Uh, roll it back up put some knots on the top and then we're going to put him back into we're gonna put him into the Dutch oven now uh, for one more rice for about 30 minutes or so and then it'll go in the oven and by that point this other bread will be out so you are going to knock this back how and do that you literally punch it in the center not too hard but you're just gonna put a little bit of air into it and just give it a Straight I was in the made for this. Whoa! That is Jesus fucking Christ! This is a fish! So what you did just did? I should have given it one of these. I should have just gone bump. So what you just did was uh, you knocked the air out of it. Okay. Then you're going to pull it out, and right. you're going to do that thing that I showed you, where you Folding. fold it. Yep. Go ahead and get her out. Fold and fold. Yep. And fold. Now. And grab and twist. Yoinkus. And I did it. Right? Ish. Ish. Pretty good. Pretty good. Whatever, it's my first one. Yep. Just shove it in here. Uh, wait. First, you're gonna take your flat side. Mm -hmm. Flat ish. Flat -ish. being a, a word. I should probably put the camera on you. Again, you can, yeah, you can keep you can pulling keep them in until you've got them nice and rounded out. Okay, keep them your key is you you want to keep your hands on the bottom. You don't want to be touching your top. 
May I what? just show you something real fast? Oh, so I don't want to actually be touching that round bit. Yeah, that way it's nice and smooth. There you go. Oh, okay. Look how round and beautiful he is. Him so beautiful. Beautiful. Now, now go ahead and, you know, pop him gently in the nut. And, yep, gently in the nuts. Yep. Yike. Ooh, that looks really good. <laughs> and then I have prepared our Dutch oven with some parchment paper. You're gonna pop them right in the center. Just like that? Yep. Yeah. And, and we're gonna cover it up and let it rise again. Okay. Um, if you guys are not using a Dutch oven, you will want to just put it on a baking pan or a stone if you have one. Yep. Um, and then there's a, a way to emulate this, which I will show you guys shortly. Oh, pine nuts are good. Yeah. So uh, we'll be back. Oh. We'll be back in about 30 minutes. And what's that thing you do to check that it's ready? Take a toothpick? Toothpick. You can tell by the brownness on top that it's probably about done. Right there in the middle. Is it clean? It looks like it. You're good. Bread! The bread is ready. So go ahead and close that back up. Go ahead and leave the oven on. We've got 20 more minutes to prove on that. Okay. And then you are going to take your butter that you have reserved. The National Preserve of Butter. Is there, is there, is there like a National Reserve of Butter? Should I melt this a little nah, bit Nah, it's good. Once you hit that hot bread, it's gonna melt. Ah, oh, exotic butters. Exotic butters. Oh yeah, exotic butters. Right, Paul, I get the lid off. Gotta, oh shit, gotta put something on my hands so I don't burn my hands. Cause that would suck. Gonna burn my hands off. It's gonna happen. It's gonna suck. <laughs> I need two hands for this. No, I'm fine. I have a tripod because I'm smart. Huge. It's very big. All right, put that bitch back in there. Ah. Okay, so uh, this looks about ready. I put it in a couple of times. Pulled it out. Oh, that's perfect. Take a look at that. This is the big test. Oh, you hear that? got a good sound to it. All right, um, that's it. Uh, I made bread. Yay. <laughs> um, so Carly had to, Carly had to go back to work, sadly. Um, they needed her to watch the bakery, so she had to actually go do actual baking. <laughs> um, but I have made two types of bread here. Um, I think I get the idea. I'm sure I, I like the, 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 the folding thing with the little twist at the end to like get it nice and round. I didn't know that. Um, and I'm sure I wouldn't have been able to figure that out just by reading instructions. So we'll see how this bread is. Um, but yeah, that's our first episode of Skill Monkey. Um, I think I've learned a little bit about baking. Uh, I hope you learned something too. But uh, we will see you next week where we do a skill check to see how much I've learned. Uh, hopefully it doesn't suck. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I don't have a sign off, so, uh,